Bifu ya Zari the Boss Lady na Mrembo Lady Nine inaendelea kwenda mbali sana. Of course leo kuna vitu pia ambavyo vimetokea kwenye mitandao ya kijamii vimekuja kuianzisha tena upya hibifu na leo wamekuja kuwashangaza watu wengi sana. Wameenda kujidishana kwenye page ya Juma Lokole kwenye sehemu ya Instagram Men. Kwa levo ambazo wanazo hawatu kizungumzia brand ya Zari the Post Lady na huyo Mrembo Lady na na yeye anajichukulia kwamba ni matawi waga inasema hivyo wameenda kujibishana kwenye page ya Juma Lokole baada ya Juma kuposti voice note ambayo ilikuwa ina inaskika of course huyo Mrembo Lady na alikuwa anaomba kwenda kufanya sajal ambapo alikuwa anamuomba Zari the Post Lady amsaidie kufanya hiyo sajal na hiyo voice note ilivyokuja kuvuja Zari alikuja ku comment na kuandia kwamba pesa ndo tatizo nitakuja kwa kia hiyo voice note na namna ambavyo Zali the Boss Lady alikoment na Lady na alikuja kujibu lakini baadaye pia kuna voice note pia ambayo Zali akaitoa tena akiongelea sababu ambayo ameiongelea Lady na kwamba huyo mrembo alifanya sajal na kuna vitu ambavyo alikuwa anaviongea na kumfuatilia kwenye mitandao ya kijamii so hii ni hii ni bifu ambayo inaendelea kuzungumziwa sana na inasemekana kwamba Zali huku kwa bongo anakaa kimya yani kuna vitu ambavyo aviongei anajifanya kwamba ni mstarabu lakini kwa wagenda wenzake anaongea vitu vingi sana. Hayo ni maneno ambayo amefunguka huyu Mrembo Lady Na. So vitu vinavyoendelea ni vingi sana. Na kuna simu ambayo kwenye hiyo voice note anasikika kimtaja Demon Pladam. So watu pia wameshambulia kwa nini amtaja Demon Pladam kwenye mfano wa bifu yake na huyo Mrembo Lady Na. Nataka nikuwekea tu hii voice note na namna ambavyo Zali the Post Lady alijibu hiyo voice note ambayo ilipostiwa na Juma Lokole. Hii ndio voice note ambayo aliweka Juma Lokole of course. South Africa. Mimi nijue ni budget shingapi. Without... Sasa katika hiyo voice note takuja kukuwekea vizuri hapo uh, kuna comment ambayo zilishuka huko chini ambapo hapa inaonekana Zali the Boss Lady alikuja ku comment kujibu kwa Juma Lokole aliandika tatizo hela babu we sajal sio maharage ni hela hakuna mwanamke anapenda kitambi sema tu uwezo wanajikaza lakini wanataka kufanya bora fake life ya hela akazungumza hivyo huyu Lady na akaja kuandika huko chini kwamba nilikuwa na mjaza tu babu we kwa tumi gani nililokuwa nalo alikuja kujibu hapo au wengine akaja kuandika zari kumbe ni mswahili kaja kujibu kwenye peji ya Juma Lokole ni kitu ambacho kinashangaza pia ambacho wamekifanya hapa uh, zari the boss lady sasa nataka nikuweketi tu hii voice note ambayo anasikika huyu mrembo lady na akimuomba zari kuhusiana na issue ya kufanya saja kwa mwanamke you are busy making yourself look good eh hebu basi niulizie mimi nataka nataka mahitami yondoke jamani mbona unia, uniambi nataka nikija um, South Africa nije nijue ni budget shingapi but i don't want to come without ela ya kutosha alafu waniambie ni kiasi gani can you estimate how much yeye nikija South Africa wanifanyie wanifanyie tummy tuck na maziwa yapungue how much is that gonna be please eh hey, hey. Iko ni kitu ambacho alikizungumza huyo Mrembo Lady Na. Design funny vile kama alikuwa anamuomba msaada Zali the Post Lady um, ampe connection ya kufanya sajal huko uh, South Africa. Na Zali akija kujibu pesa ndio ilikuwa tatizo. Sasa baadaye Lady Na alikuja kuposti kupitia ukurasa wake wa Instagram akazungumza namna ambavyo Zali alikuwa anachat naye na anaingia kwenye mitandao kijamii kuangalia posti za watu wengine. Of course aliandika pia kuhusiana na issue ambayo anawajibu waganda watu wa kwao kwa Uganda kuhusiana na hii issue ambayo wapo kwenye bifu na hii ndio voice note ambayo Zali the Boss Lady anasikika akiongea kumjibu huyo mrembo Lady Na Na you really being a bitch oh, I'm sorry I'm you fat you are bitch number one, I don't follow you I don't follow you number two, mimi sio mtu wa kuingiaga Instagram kuangalia nani ameni tag nani ama comment most of the time nikiingiaga Instagram yangu I enter to post I come out maybe up on lunch time na kona to oh, then I can be going through my comments my personal comments kuona kama kuna mahetas na wablog lakini mimi si mtu wa kuingia Instagram nianze kuona nani ame ni tags you na many posts you nini you just being a bitch what you are meant to do I said I will post I will post ndio tatizo ya ma promoter mukisha mukisha tu pa visa na these things now our pages must become your pages like everything sinele kwambia even when I even posted before you posted now I posted your watu wakaanza with those ugly comments I took it out 
I took it out. Lakini sasa hivi you make it look like oh I don't want to post or oh, you tagged me I didn't see oh no mimi mi, sio mtu wa kufuatia tu Instagram to see who is doing what who posted who tagged me I don't I will post that thing at my own time because even the time I posted you didn't ask me to post mimi ndio ni post Please na kuomba tu let's let's not even start fighting where it's not necessary you just really being a bitch right now and it's Monday Monday na kazi zangu za ofisini please don't get me out of my mood for a single post on social media which I'm going to do you going out of line and you know me me I can be crazy na I can be crazy na na kwambia tu asubuhi I'm sorry I'm not coming and I'll ask you how much money it costed I will refund it kwanza hizo pesa that you're giving me it's not even like money that can make me move from Africa 10 hours on a flight between me and you you're my sister wacha nikwambie ukweli I don't if I send you my red card so you will see how much money I charge 10000 US I've got a red card 10000 US na hivi vitu nakufanyia tu because you know it's okay to come to London I haven't been you know I can come we just chill you like a this thing I'm doing for you like a the money you even that you want to give me so we say you wasted money on the first work permit on this one has any toy with me in a place to come and say I'm I'm coming for a party I can't mimi sio muimbaji Diamond sio konde boy sio zushu I am me. Niza kuniambia yeah but I'm just bringing you who anyway I'm me. Na kuomba let's not even start fighting. I'm give you facts and waga bitter with for nothing. So hivyo ni vitu ambavyo amevizungumza ame Zali the boss lady kazungumza vitu vingi sana na kuna kipande macho anasikika akimwongelea Diamond Platinum akimtaja kama mfano Konde Boy pamoja na Zuchu. Kuna wabongo ambao wamekuja ku mind pia wakisema kwa nini asitoe mfano wasanii wa uko kwao wa Uganda siwazungumze. Kwa nini anamuingiza Diamond Platinum kwenye bifu ya hao watu wawili? Why anamuingiza Zuchu pamoja na Konde Gang? Lakini pia zandani zaidi zinasema kwamba he voice note ambayo inasikika hapa ni kabla ya Zali ajende London. I don't know kama ni kweli watu ndio waga wanazungumza hivyo kwenye bifu kama hizi kuna vitu vingi sana ambavyo vinaibuka na kuongelewa na ukienda kwenye page ya Lina pia kuna watu ambao wameanza kuingilia hii bifu kutuma ma voice notes kwa ajili ya kumponda Zali the boss lady na Zali akiwa na timu yake pia ambayo inamsaidia so hii ni bifu ambayo inazungumziwa sana sasa hivi and of course kuna washikaji zetu pia ambao wapo kule London Rayvanny pamoja na Gigimani na watu wanaulizia wanaendeleaje wako vipi huko na hali zao so hivyo ni vitu ambavyo vinaendelea sana let me know on comment section Uweze kuniambia ni kitu gani ambacho unakinjoy zaidi kwenye hii bifu ya Zali the Boss Lady pamoja na Lady Nam. Baka mwingine tena hii ni the 30V.